has a number of dings and scratches, is equipped with a hitch, a roof rack, and a self-installed auxiliary cord for satellite bliss. She shakes a little when you hit 65 miles per hour. And now that my babies are teenagers, that third row seating really isn't necessary. But I adore my minivan, also more affectionately known as my mom van. <laughs> and I'm refusing to give her up. I'm not a car person. I'm a city person who moved to the country. And 17 years later, I still miss mass transportation, and I loathe those 20-minute car rides just to find a decent pair of shoes. <laughs> I adjust it, and buying a minivan was never a second thought. Being a mom and keeping up with being cool, it's impossibly difficult. Purchasing a minivan, that just seals the deal. <laughs> Even though I was the mom with the sleek, black over-the-shoulder diaper bag, and the one who would wear the dangle ankle bracelets just to keep the little ones entertained during play dates. Once I stepped into my minivan, all semblance of my cool girl self instantly vanished. <laughs> the minivan has no personal identity. I even had one of those baby on board stickers on the back of my head. <laughs> my wheels, my wheels said one thing and one thing only, mom, <laughs> I picked up pacifiers with impressive precision while driving on highways. I pulled over to breastfeed, and when my husband was driving, I'd climb over the seat to breastfeed on the go. <laughs> Baby still strapped in, performing acrobatics all for the great show. I bumped in the car, read stories, played games, and put together pretty decent meals in between stops. I sang every song that was sung to me during childhood car rides until my girls were old enough to pack the car in with their own friends and sing or actually scream loud enough and at a volume that would put Ariana Grande to shame. <laughs> I pulled over so the kids could pee in a miniature porta potty in the oversized trunk. <laughs> And I once personally tested a diaper's durability. <laughs> During a long solo drive, it was raining like mad. My daughter was sleeping soundly in her car seat. I needed to relieve myself. <laughs> it totally works. <laughs> uh, any important conversation ever has happened in my minivan. I've cried with my daughters, scolded them, laughed with them, and even provided sex education all in that car. Going as far as to explain the use of a condom to my eight-year-old <laughs> surprised me with the question, how do you have sex if you don't want to have a baby? <laughs> yes, I've made my worst parenting mistakes in that car, as well as fun wisdom and advice in a way that sounded like gospel, at least to my own ears. Today, I sit in the back seat while my 16-year-old practices her driving skills with my eyes closed and my stomach in my chest. I'm carrying around prom dresses and dance costumes while listening to scripts being read and help with last minute homework on the way to school. Tears are still shed, arguments continue to erupt, meals are still eaten on the go, and songs are still sung. No, I don't want a newer, smaller, more hip vehicle with only two rows and a fancy dashboard. I'm fine just craning my neck to check for cars without the help of a rear view camera. <laughs> I can wear gloves to keep my hands warm and forgo the heated steering wheel. <laughs> and I have no problem remembering to pull open that back door because my damn minivan doors always break and get stuck. <laughs> Chances are I'll need that third row seat anyway to pull down and fill up with boxes and suitcases for my teenage daughter's next move, away from home, away from my mom van, and on their own. Thank you.